The Nigerian economy has experienced checkered growth since 1999, led mainly by proceeds from oil and gas. Over 90% of the sub-nationals in Nigeria are barely viable economically. They often lack the minimum infrastructure, manpower and industrial capacity to function independently and generate wealth, hence they are mostly regarded as civil service states. Our past leaders made concerted efforts to tackle underdevelopment in a Edo state. Enter the Governor Godwin Obaseki administration. An unprecedented structural transformation began, repositioning the state as a leading industrial haven, attracting investments across different sectors of the economy. The Alao Dao Summit has been a key driver of the reforms that has birthed this landmark economic revolution. The whole purpose and the drive behind this summit was to provide a forum where we could bring all shades of opinion, policymakers, citizens, all stakeholders together to dialogue on the pertinent issues affecting the state with a view to looking for common grounds and also solutions to those problems. Today, Edo has grown to become a major hub for manufacturing of materials for the building sector, with local and foreign companies competing for market share. Companies that have established or expanded their businesses in the building and construction sector in Edo State include Dangote Cement PLC, Time Ceramics, and Roncheng Glass, among others. These companies produce cement, tiles, glass, roofing sheets, MDF boards, and source their raw materials from the state's rich mineral resources. In the agricultural sector, Edo State is leading a quiet revolution. Working with partners, the Edo State government has transitioned from subsistence to mechanized agriculture. Edo today has arguably the largest and most ambitious farmer state development in Africa. The governor put in a total of 70,000 hectares for cultivation under this program. This also would help to reduce the deficit that, that already exists in the sector. Thank God for the governmental drive. A lot of people are more interested in agriculture. Before the end of last year, everybody ran out of seedlings. We don't mind the cost, but every day we live to see the rest of mind that it gives you. And we are proud about it, that whatsoever we have done to date is done in a very friendly environment and then thinking about the ecology. And that's what ESOP leads for. Another notable investor in the ESOP program, Green Hill Limited, a subsidiary of Saru Africa, has established a cassava to ethanol refinery in Benin City which will be fed with 480 tons of cassava roots, approximately 20 trailers, and produce 50,000 liters of ethanol to be used in breweries and distilleries and other sectors. The state is also taking a central position in processing of hydrocarbons by promoting policies and advancing incentives to improve the ease of doing business. As a result, Edo has attracted two functional refineries with the injection of 700 million naira into the Edo Refinery and Petrochemical Company Limited (ERPC). The company set up a 6,000 barrels per day modular refinery in Ulubo, Itobaoka local government of the state. The company's products include naphtha, low-pore fuel oil, and diesel, among others. Its feedstock is sourced from the Uza oil field, which it recently placed an order of 200,000 barrels of crude for refining. Over 60,000 hectares of oil palm has been cultivated. We have two modular refinery running in Olubo and Eboko. We have two ethanol factory ready to be commissioned. We have also one that has close to 100 megawatts of electricity being provided. And of course, this has led to the creation of more jobs for Edo people. Power is critical to driving industrial growth. This is why Governor Obaseki had signed a power purchase agreement, which paved the way for the setting up 
of Osiomo Power Company in a move that was well ahead of its time. In the last seven years, we've pushed and supported investment in the Osiomo Power Plant, which supplies power exclusively to Edo State. The retail sector in Edo State has witnessed unprecedented growth on account of the transformational policies espoused by the Governor Basaki-led administration. The sprawling Benin City Mall is one of the iconic projects that signposts the revolution in the sector. The spiraling effect of the retail business is the fact that it has encouraged local manufacturers to standardize their produce to requisite packaging and branding standards. They have been taking our product from here to UX. We are also a member of Nigerian Export Promotion Council, uh, Exporters Cluster in Edo State, where we have opportunity to send export our product from Benin to outside Nigeria. The creative industry in Edo State has also grown in leaps and bounds in the last seven years. Governor Basaki has continued to support the industry and establish the Victor Waifu Creative Hub and Soundstage to serve as a rallying point for creatives to express themselves through film, photography, theatrical productions, among others. Today, Edo State can be counted among the areas where producers come in to shoot movies for Nollywood. Governor Basaki implemented a robust program to grow the state's technology sector by introducing novel initiatives to mainstream technology as a viable sector for economic diversification and youth development. It was very impressive to see how much is already going on on the ground with skills training, with interview training, you know, not just to, to find jobs better, but to be able to offer something to the job market. And I think many young people, we had the certificates supported also by Switzerland, you know, for the, uh, the photography uh, students. This is important skills uh, they will be able to use. With a keen focus on women empowerment, the First Lady of Edo State, Mrs. Betsy Obasaki, organizes the annual Betsy Obasaki Women's Football Tournament. On its second edition, the tournament received an award from the World Football Governing Body. FIFA as a key championship promoting women's football across the globe. Similarly, the state's darling football club Bendel Insurance is regaining its past glory as they clinch the Nigeria FA Cup in the 2022-2023 league season. With increased support from the state government, the team also returned to continental football after 30 years, reigniting a new enthusiasm among fans. All of these achievements are anchored on the transformation of the Edo State civil and public service, as well as the revamped education sector. The civil service is the NGO of government. And like it is commonly said, the engine, if it's down, the vehicle is down. So what was this reform? First, the working environment has to be renewed. And uh, next was the training of the personnel. Today, they are all better off. This has led to improved services to Edo people. The governor has been very clear about what he intends to do and has been doing uh, in the civil and public service of Edo State. It is to take the service to a point where the service can function optimally and be able to serve as that instrument of government through which government delivers quality governance. Under the Edo Basic Education Sector Transformation Edo Best Program, public schools in Edo are now globally recognized as being a model for change, as incisive reforms have tackled learning poverty and enhanced foundational literacy and numeracy. We're able to transform the basic education system of Edo State through our Edo Best program, which today is being hailed as one of Africa's most transformative programs. So one of the greatest contributing factors to the success of the Edo Best program is the leadership, the political will, and the commitment of His Excellency Governor Gorbino Baseki. 
And you, this is seen when you see a state government that commits its own resources to driving the implementation of basic education in the state and then goes out on the back of what it's done to attract foreign investment from independent development agencies to ensure that the program is sustained and it's continued during his tenure and even well after when he's gone. The operating environment is now safer for investors as the government has invested in fortifying the state security architecture. A citywide surveillance system has been set up in Benin Metropolis with a command and control center supported by the Edo State Security Network. Governor Obasaki has also strengthened the healthcare system by revamping primary health care and establishing the Edo State Health Insurance Commission. This has spurred private investment in Edo's health sector, such as the Mary Ehaniri Mother and Child Hospital, which is boosting medical tourism. But most importantly, as an Edo woman, I'm so proud. I'm so proud what this has done. And most importantly, to have a governor who's keen and whose interest is to make sure that Edo is great again, to make sure that the Edo people are recognized wherever they go and we're recognized for excellence. So for me, looking back from 2017 when I came over, there were probably two flights and people wondering what I'm doing in Edo, to now, people struggling to come into Edo. There's an improvement. Indeed, one of the legacy projects of the Governor of Basaki-led administration is the Bini Port Project, which the government is developing in partnership with the federal government. Motor Angel has emerged as the preferred bidder for the development of the 300,000 TEU port facility. Edo State, under the governor, is unarguably Nigeria's new economic frontier. The state now has thriving local economy that positions it favorably for sustainability and economic expansion to guarantee a secured future. In just seven years, Edo has been set on a path that has altered its destiny. With all these amazing developments which we can see in Edo at the moment, the reality is that the Edo you see today is like an iceberg. What is visible now is far less than what is to emerge. Let us give honor to whom it is due. Give a standing ovation to the honor zooming leader, Mr. Godwin of Basaki, who has quietly changed the course of Edo's history for good and forever.